Hello, this is Barry, and you're watching Barry and the P.I. Uh, as you can see, I got a haircut. Deer trimmed a little bit. It's looking good. Mida does cuts my hair and trims my beard. So uh, I'm looking good. Uh, today it's... Uh, about 74 to 85, nice day. It's, right now it's sunny, uh, but it's a, a nice day. Well, what I wanted to talk about is that Philippines has a lot of tourists come in. Some come for the beaches, we have a lot of great beaches around. Uh, some people come for the scenery. Uh, some people come for uh, festivals and special events. And then some people come here for the bars and, and the bar, bar girls. Uh, those those per, usually go up to Angeli City or Manila or Cebu, uh, Longapo, uh, and that's what their their reason for coming is the bars and the bar girls. Uh, this isn't just here in, in the Philippines. Thailand has a lot of people that come for the bars and the bar girls. Uh, so does Vietnam and Cambodia, uh, really it's a, around the world. Uh, poor countries uh, have areas, uh, bars and bar girls. Uh, now I'm not a, a morality police and I'm not going to say it's bad, or, uh, it's good. I'm just going to say it's, it's there. Can't pretend if it isn't there. Uh, since the U.S. military is, a, is a be coming in, uh, you're going to find more of those places like that uh, around those areas. Uh, now I've done something different here in, in the Philippines, though. In the area like uh, Angeli City, uh, particularly South Koreans, they kind of moved in. There's an area called uh, Koreatown. Also, they bought up bars on the uh, on the Walking Street, the main area for bars and bar girls. Uh, the, also, the prices have been decreasing, They're going up, and uh, I've also found out that uh, some country, uh, countries, uh, some companies in some areas, particularly Korea and probably Japan and uh, India, they have, uh, as a perk, for their male employees, they will send their employees on a free trip to the Philippines and uh, Thailand and other countries for a, a nice time, all expense paid trip, hotel, and uh, the girls, time with the girls, and that's a part of their business. And so Koreans have been buying up a lot of uh, a lot of businesses, a lot of the clothes businesses due to the pandemic. Uh, so that's driven up the prices of the stuff. <coughs> <clears throat> Those girls are getting making more money than they did before. Uh, most most of those businesses, those bars, were owned by 
expats, Americans, um, uh, Europeans, British, and Australians. But now there's uh, now there's much more competition, but. Uh, you're not as welcome in those owned by the Koreans as, as you used to be when it was under uh, other countries. So uh, it's, it's happening. They're also buying up businesses in Manila, especially in the red light district or near the red light districts. So, uh, you'll probably not be welcoming in some of those places as well. But I, I've noticed there's much more uh, Koreans in those areas. Uh, you have more Japanese also coming in, uh, more Indians and Pakistanis uh, coming into those areas for what reasons they're there for. Uh, as I say, I'm not judging people on why they come to the Philippines. I'm just telling them that while you're here, go out and see it in some of this country. Uh, meet the people and you'll have a much more appreciation uh, of the Philippine people. So, uh, that's, uh, that's all I had to say about uh, this. Businesses picking up in those areas. Uh, in some places, people just come here then come here to just find that pretty island girl to make it become his girlfriend or even wife. So uh, that was the partial reason why I came over to uh, Asia that uh, 1997, I think it was. And so, uh, but I've gotten out and traveled around around the islands you know, while I was here, and uh, so I knew this place was where I should be as a retired person. So uh, I did have to go back and work a few more years, build up that uh, uh, retirement pay and uh, I'm very glad that I'm here uh, and I'm very glad that I have found this place too it's a beautiful place you see Lily Lily where are you uh, you saw her walking along there but that was what uh, I wanted to say. Uh, as uh, we go along and more Americans come here, uh, military, you're going to see more bars opening up and more girls walking around in uh, sexy act outfits. And uh, it'll be good for the uh, Philippine economy, which is good for the people, and uh, good for me, uh, just because I, I like being here and things are going good. So uh, that's about it. Uh, just wanted to let you know about what's happening in those places. And uh, so y'all take care. Have a great day. I know my...
friends back in Texas and well, the U.S. are experiencing a, a big heat wave, record-setting heat wave, and uh, I'm just sitting here in this beautiful, beautiful yard, cool breeze coming through here. You can see the trees and stuff. Some of them. I uh, so I'm sitting here enjoying life. Uh, what's left of it? Being 80 years old as hell. <laughs> but it's be beats the opposite of not being here. So y'all take care. Uh, please subscribe. I've got uh, 600 and something subscribers. So y'all hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And uh, also hit that little volcano down there. Uh, you'll be notified each and every time I put a, uh, up a new video, and uh, I'm hoping I just, I've got an idea for one that I'll do tomorrow, and uh, it's going to be funny. Okay, y'all take care, and we'll see you. Adios.